Welcome to how to set up and operate the Baofeng UV5R transceiver, a tutorial for newcomers to ham radio, scanning, and transceivers. This is part six, setting the squelch level and transmit power level. The squelch is a filter in the radio that screens out weak transmissions or stray electromagnetic interference. The levels range from zero, no squelch filter, to nine, full squelch filter. The Baofeng UV5R user manual recommends the filter be set at level 5. Here's how to change that setting if we need to increase the sensitivity of the radio, perhaps to receive weak transmissions from a distant or low-powered signal. Remember, it's best to enter menu item numbers with two digits. Menu item 0 should be entered as 00. zero. Radio on. Menu zero zero. Menu. Menu. Squelch. Scroll to zero. Confirm with menu. Confirm. Exit. That hiss or static background is what the radio is receiving with no squelch filter applied. The squelch is open. Any transmission still will still be received fine, but as soon as the transmission ends, this background noise will return. Let's try just one step higher than zero squelch. Menu. Zero, zero. Menu. Scroll to one, confirm with menu, and exit. Now the background noise is silent. The slightest transmitting signal will break squelch and the radio will receive the signal. If our location is frequently receiving distant transmissions that are breaking squelch but are too faint or noisy to understand, consider increasing the level of the squelch filter until only the strong, easily understood transmissions are able to break squelch. The recommended level of 5 is probably a happy medium between unwanted background noise and scratchy, distant transmissions. Let's set our squelch right now to 5. Menu. menu zero, zero. Menu. Squelch. Arrow up to 5. Confirm with menu. Confirm. And exit. Now, practically speaking, the Baofeng UV5R squelch filter shows little difference between levels 0 or 1 through 9, at least when programming manually. Software programming applications may allow a custom squelch level. Next, how to set the transmit power level, menu item 02. We've previously practiced setting the transmit power level, but now we should look a bit closer at that procedure. Menu. menu. 02 menu Power. arrow up and choose low confirm with menu confirm. exit the letter L at the top left of the display indicates low power mode now regardless of our power setting the keypad button marked with a hashtag will also toggle the power mode from high to low, overriding the TXP setting. Note the L in our display showing that this is set now to low power mode. Toggle with the hashtag key. No L indicates high power mode. In other words, no matter whether the TXP setting is high or low, the keypad button marked with a hashtag symbol will override this setting and will toggle the power mode from high to low and back again to high. The power setting is important. Normally our radio should be set to low transmission power. There is no need to overpower other local radio operators. However, if we need to reach a distant receiver, or if other conditions are interfering with our transmit signal, try setting our radio to high using the hashtag button. High power mode shows no L indicated. Toggle the hashtag button. L indicates low power mode. 
So in summary, use menu item 02 to set our normal transmit power level to low. When necessary, use the keypad hashtag button to toggle the high. Remember to toggle back to low as soon as you can. Good work. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep looking up.